Analytic geometry is the second unit in the grade 10 math textbook. And the first lesson we're going to talk about today is midpoint of a line segment. So the key word here is it is a line segment, right? You can't find the midpoint of a line because lines don't end. How are you going to find the end of it? How are you going to find the middle point? So I'm going to start by something really simple. So let's take a look at this line segment AB. It goes from 0 to 4 and I asked you if I asked you where the midpoint of this line would be you'd say very easily that it's going to be at 2 and 0 so the midpoint is going to be right here it's going to be halfway and we denote it with capital M and then you'd say AB midpoint AB and then in brackets you'd say it's 2 and 0 so similarly, if I went up the y-axis like this and I had the point, um, the line segment AC, the midpoint of AC would be halfway between 0 and 5. So halfway between 0 and 5, 5 divided by 2, 2 and a half, so it would be right here. So the midpoint of AC would be x is 0, y is 2.5. Now, I want you to think about how we would get these numbers, the midpoints, and we're going to do that first by looking at one that's not centered at the origin. So the next one here, so I have the line segment CD that goes from minus 2, 0 to 4 and 0. And if I asked you where the midpoint is of AD, midpoint AD this time, how are you going to find that? Well, you could start counting, right? You could count on your way in. You could say, oh, there's here, we go in one, we go in one more, we go in one more, and there we are right here. It's going to be right here. That's going to be at one and zero. So I'm going to put, oh, I shouldn't have put that in brackets, just been like this, AD, and then you'd say one, zero. So how did I get one, zero here? So minus two, the math that you're doing here is you're saying the midpoint of CD, I even wrote the wrong letters, midpoint of CD equals, and you would say I add the x's together, so minus 2 plus 4, and I divided by 2, and because we were right on the x-axis here, we didn't have to worry about the height of it, right? It was just 0. You could say 0 plus 0 divided by 2 is 0. And so that gave me minus 2 plus 4 is 2 divided by 2 gave me 1, 0. So that's a calculation that you're going to do. So let's look at this last one here because it's not on the x-axis or the y-axis. So I have minus 2 and minus 3 and 4, 3 for the points here. So if I want to know what the midpoint is of AB, midpoint AB, what I'm going to do, and it's nice to use proper format here, we're going to use this little formula where we're adding, so we say x1 plus x2 divided by 2. In other words, you add the x's together you divide by 2, you add the y's together, and you divide by 2, and that's going to give you your midpoint. So basically what I'm looking at is if I, if I were to draw um, a dotted line down like this, and I'd say, okay, so what's the midpoint between here and here? So that's adding my x's together, right? So from minus 2... So I have minus 2, and I'm adding 4 to it, and divide by 2. So minus 2, this is 4, right? For this point here, if I was to give you a point, that would be 4 and minus 3. So it gives you a nice straight line. So what's the middle of these two? Minus 2 plus 4 divided by 2. And what's the mid midpoint between these y's? This one that's up here and all the way down to here. So I would say that point is going to be 3, and I'm going to add 
minus 3, so 3 plus minus 3, and I'm going to divide by 2. Now I think I switched here. I do, if I use this as x1, y1, I should have said minus 2 plus 4 and minus 3 plus 3 um, to be perfectly correct. Let me correct that. I'm just going to write it here. So minus 3 plus 3. It gives you the same solution. It's just that in terms of format, this would be my x1, y1, and this would be my x2, y2. Okay, so I add them up and I divide by 2, and that's going to give me minus 2 plus 4 is 2, divided by 2 is 1, and minus 3 plus 3 divided by 2 is just going to be 0. And so this is the midpoint right here. So this is midpoint A, B, and it is 1 and 0. Okay, so there's your formula. All you have to remember here to do is add the x's the x's and divide by 2 add the y's and divide by 2 that's how you get a midpoint so pretty easy right okay so let's do one other one more example and then we'll do something a little a little trickier not really Find the midpoint of a line segment with endpoints P81 and Q27. Okay, so by now you should know that we're going to use this really nice formula. And we're going to use a big capital M and we're going to say PQ. And that says I'm finding the midpoint of PQ. So to do that, and make two big brackets because this is actually a coordinate, right? You're finding a coordinate. So I do... 8 plus 2, so that's adding the x's together, and then I'm going to add the y's together and divide by 2. So very easy. 10 divided by 2 is 5, and 8 divided by 2 is 4. So there's your midpoint of PQ. Okay, so another question that you're going to be asked is, if I gave you the midpoint and an endpoint, could you find the other end point? Okay, so that's that's our little challenge here now. So given an end point and a midpoint, find the other end point. So I've drawn it here and I put it on some graph paper because it'll look it'll look nicer and it'll be more accurate and it will make more sense. For a line segment PQ, one end point is minus two minus six. I always suggest to my students that they sketch it because Sometimes they think it's going the other way. So this is your end point. Um, one end point is P minus 2 and minus 6. And I called it Q on my diagram here. Oh my goodness. Here we go. There's P now. So minus 2 and minus 6. The midpoint is minus 4 and 1. Find the other end point. So obviously this is going to go out like this somewhere, right? And I want to know what's this point that's up here. So there are two ways to do this. There's the logic way and there's the algebraic way. And we're going to do both because depending on your teacher, they might want you to show the algebraic way. The easy way is to look at the graph and say, okay, so I'm looking for the point Q out here somewhere. And I know that to get from here up to this point here, I went over, so I went from minus 2 to minus 4. So I went left 2, right? So here was minus 2, this one is minus 4. So I went left 2, and I went up how many? So I went from minus 6 to plus 1. So I did left 2, and I did up 7, right? So minus 6 to 7. So to find the other point, I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm going to go left 2 and up 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So that means that my line was really bad, and I would have guessed really badly. So you can see now, let me get some color here and a ruler. Stuck. Okay, so here 
if I join this one to this one, and that's going to take me to the point Q. So Q up here was, we said we went left two more. So now I'm at minus six, right? Minus six here. And I went up seven from one. And that's going to give me eight. So minus six, eight is the other end point. Okay, so that's looking at it and just making sense of it. If I went left two and up seven, I go left two and up seven more, and I'm at the end point. Or it could be going the other way around. Now, sometimes you might have really strange numbers and it doesn't work so well, so you want to also know a little algebra to fix it. So, knowing that there is a formula for finding a midpoint, I'd say the midpoint of PQ would be equal to some number. So if this was my x1, but I don't know what it is, right? Because we, we found that out just doing um, just doing by inspection. Left two, up one, left two, up one. So I'm going to add x1, and I'm going to add minus two, and divide by two. And this is to find the midpoint, right? And I know what the midpoint is. So watch in a second, I'm going to show you. So then I had y1, and I'm going to add negative 6 to that and divide by 2. But I know the midpoint is minus 4 and 1. So minus 4 plus 1 is going to be x1 plus minus 2 divided by 2 and y1 plus minus 6 over 2. Okay, so you know that this is a formula. You add the x's, you divide by 2, you add the y's, divide by 2. But this time you know that the answer is already minus 4 and 1. So what that means is that minus 4, I'm going to break it into two parts now. So I'm going to say minus 4 is going to be equal to x1, and I'm just going to get rid of this plus minus here. So x1 minus 2 divided by 2 has to be equal to minus 4, and the 1 has to be equal to y1 minus 6 over 2. So now you can see if I was to do a little bit of algebra here, I could solve for x1 and y1. So the first thing I would do is I would multiply both sides by 2. And that would say minus 8, so 2 times minus 4, equals, and this is going to divide into this one, that's going to leave, leave me with x1 minus 2. And so that means that x1 has to be equal to minus 8 plus 2, or minus 6. See, there we got that answer already over here, minus 6. And now you do the same thing for the y's. So this one, I'm going to multiply both sides again by 2. That's going to make that go away. And I'm going to say 2 is equal to y1 minus 6. So y1 equals 2 plus 6 equals 8. Therefore, minus 6, 8 is the other end point. Okay, so you can do it by inspection if it's a small one like this. It's very easy to figure out how far you went left or right. Depends on your diagram. Of course, it could have given you this endpoint and this, and you would have done the same thing only in reverse. So you actually have the same movement, same distance from here. So this went two units, this is two units, and the same thing as we did when we looked at those first examples. So long-term algebraically, you just write out your midpoint formula again and plug in what you already know. So x1 minus 2 over 2, the y's, set it equal to the midpoint, and then solve each of these separately. So this is solving for x, and this is going to be solving for y. And that's how you work with the midpoint. Remember that it's a midpoint of a line segment, and you're going to use this a lot in this section, so make sure you know the 
little formula. Add the x's divide by 2, add the y's divide by 2, and you'll be just fine. Okay, so that's the end of the midpoint of a line segment lesson. I hope you've subscribed. Please uh, share with your friends and like the videos. Thanks for watching.